Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat, and today I have a brief overview on the four position turret that we offer for our lathes. Now the turret itself comes in two different sizes so that it can use either three quarter inch or one inch tooling. I'm using the 1630RX right now, which has the three quarter inch tools in it, so therefore I'm using that turret. Now, first of all, it is a four position turret, which means that it rotates horizontally and I can assign my tools accordingly to which side of the turret they're located on. Um, before we get started with that, I wanna explain that you do have to home the turret in order to use it. So if the machine's been turned off, I would go to the setup mode and I would go right here where it says home turret. And then it's gonna ask me which number on the turret is heading towards the headstock. In this case, tool number two is pointed towards the headstock. So I'm just gonna tell it that. It's gonna say, okay, it's now homed and ready to use. And I simply push okay. All right, it doesn't have to rotate in order to indicate where it's at just by telling it which number faces forward, you'll be good for that. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about a little bit is how you assign the tools to a program. So I've got a program in here right now. And if you look at it, it's got a little cycle event that I'm using a right turn face tool for. And then I have a couple of grooves over here as well. So when I go to the tool table, this is what's a little bit different. You'll notice in the tool library and in the tool table that there's an extra column right here that says turret location. And down in my library, I've got all four of my tools set up telling it which location those particular tools are in. So before I do anything else, I wanna explain that you can also run more than four tools in this four position turret. The way that you do that is you would add a fifth or a sixth tool and add them all to one turret location. For instance, I make a block that has three drill chucks in it, kind of like gang tooling. I could have all three of those on location number one and still have my turn face tool on location two and my grooving tool on three and my cutoff tool on four, et cetera. So that's the way you run more than four tools at a time. But in this case, I'm just gonna use two of the four tools that are in here. So all I'm gonna do is select my right turn face tool right here, touch that box, say this is gonna be tool number one. And then I'm gonna look for my OD groove tool right here, tell it that's gonna be tool number two. You'll notice everything is green here and that's ready to go. All right, another thing I wanna talk about is right now the tools that I have set up in here are all for OD work. And the machine of course can do ID work as well, but in order to do that, you're going to need a special tool holder like so that actually mounts into one of the slots of the turret so that when it's located over there, this would hold either your drill chuck or a boring bar or anything else like that. So just so you know, this is something you can get from your local tooling guy um, and just tell them what you're using it for and that would take care of that problem for you. Okay, um, the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna talk a little bit about power and air just so you know. Normally the machine runs just by having the right amount of power, but when I add a turret to it, I do need the air assist that actually helps with the turning of the turret. So I do need to have uh, air that has at least 90 PSI. The power itself connects directly into the electrical box in the back, so you don't even really have to worry about that. All right, so let me show you a little bit of how it works, right? So I'm gonna go to the run mode here, and I'm gonna start at event number one, and I'm just gonna do this to save us a little bit of time. So I'm gonna start on the finish cut here, okay? And so you'll notice here that it's ready to go. It's telling me to start the spindle. Normally when I use a manual machine with a manual tool post, it waits till it's home to tell me to start the spindle. But because it's automatic, it's telling me start the spindle now and then push go. So I'm gonna do that here. Okay, last but not least, in case you're curious, if I'm in the DRO mode and I want to use the tools in the turret, I just either tell it which turret location to turn to, or I can call up a tool number, and those tool numbers would be starting at number 101 and going to 199. Those are my library tools. Or if there is a program in there and I want to use it in DRO, then I would simply call up tool number one, two, three, etc. Okay, so this concludes the... Uh, 
the four position turret and a slight overview on how it works. And I will see you in the next video. Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat. And in this portion of the video, we're gonna do an overview on the eight position turret. You might notice it's a little louder in the background because we're out in the shop now by the 2470. And as you can tell, the turret is right here over my left shoulder. Um, as I explained with the four position turret, it does come in two different sizes, three quarter or one inch tooling as well, uh, because you can put it on the smaller models, okay? Um, other than that, the big difference here is it's a little different when you home the machine. So when I go to setup mode this time and I go to home turret, you're going to notice that it's going to tell me when I'm ready, push go. And when I push go, it's actually going to rotate the turret this time and so that it knows where all the positions are. And as soon as it's done doing that, then it's going to tell me I'm okay over here. Like so, and then I'm ready to go. Okay, now assigning tools to the, to the program is exactly the same as it would be if I was doing uh, the four position, although on this particular program, you're gonna notice that I'm doing interior and exterior work on this piece part. So because of that, I've got a lot more tools to work with. So I'm gonna go to the tool table right here and just walk through this. Here's my library tools, and here is, of course, my regular tools, right? So I'm gonna start out with my boring bar being tool number one, my ID groove tool being tool number two, and then my ID thread tool being tool number three. My right turn face tool is number four. My OD groove, number five. And last but not least, my OD thread is number six. So when I look back into here, you'll see that it's there. So the rest of it is like I explained earlier, under the turret location, I just explained which tool is switch. Now it's a little bit different using the eight position turret because of the fact that I have to account for where all the tools are all the time because they're all facing forward. So therefore you'll notice in this position, I've got all my ID tools separated from my OD tools with a blank station in between them just to make sure that they can all avoid the part as I'm machining. So you do have to keep that in mind a little bit, okay? Also you can notice like I was talking about with the four position, that we do have special tool holders to hold your ID tools for drills and bores and things like that, okay? Uh, as far as the requirements for power and air, same as with the four position, I need at least 90 PSI in order to help assist with the, uh, with the turret. And then of course the power plugs right back into it like anything else does. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of an idea on how it works so you can see it in action. And here we go. So I'm gonna go close this, gonna go to the run mode. I'm going to start at event number one, save us a little time and go right to the finish cut. Start the spindle and push go. No need to let it run through the whole program because there's quite a bit going on in there, but at least this gives you enough of an idea how it works, how it looks when it's in action. And if you have some more questions about either one of them, of course, um, we're here to answer those questions. But this completes the overview for the eight position turret. If you have any other questions, of course, talk to your local rep. We'll be there to help you. And until I see you in the next video, thanks for watching.